So we've been looking at some of the new tri suits. Um, this version is the latest hoob on the uh, the core long sleeve uh, long core suit. Um, as you can see, it borrows a lot of features from its little brother, the Dave Scott one, um, which have been really popular in the past couple of years. Um, this version, 140 pounds as opposed to 180 pounds, so much more affordable, but still keeping a lot of the really nice features that made the Dave Scott one such a great suit. Um, Hoob have really got the fit on the sleeves and the upper body very, very, very well done. Um, there's lots and lots of flexibility. You're not going to notice you've got cap sleeves on, especially if it's under a wetsuit. They use the same um, pad that they've got in the Dave Scott suit, really comfortable. Um, it's in exactly the right place so that when you're on the tri bars on the end of the saddle, you get the support where you need it. But once you're on the run, again, it's not so thick, you don't even know it's there. Um, the other thing this suit's got, which is quite nice, are the pockets in the sides. So if you're doing a long course race, you can tuck your gels and bars just in there. Uh, much easier to get to than the rear pockets that you get on some of the suits and they don't dig in your back as well. Uh, the leg grip has worked really well on this suit. Um, it's just a, a laser cut band at the bottom. So on the bike, it allows it to move up your leg and then drop down to a comfortable place on the run. Um, nice full length zip, so if it does get warm, you can, uh, you can drop it down. Um, I think this is going to be a very popular suit, black and red, Hoob's corporate colours, always works well um, and at that price I think it's going to be a big seller. You could use this suit right from a sprint distance up to an Ironman with no problem at all.